Hi, in this video series we'll discuss support for JSON in SQL Server 2016. This video series is broken down into three parts. Part 1, we'll look at, we'll give a quick introduction to JSON and then also we'll look at how SQL Server converts the SQL Server data types to JSON data types. In part 2, we'll look at how to actually query JSON in SQL Server. And then we'll look at how to actually uh, achieve this using for JSON path and for JSON auto and uh, how to modify these um, JSON objects or documents um, add by adding root elements or controlling null values and also we'll take a look at you know what is the difference between for JSON path and for JSON auto uh, we'll also take a look at you know how to actually create a complicated um, a well formatted JSON documents and we we'll look at uh, new features that are coming in CTP3 and part 3 of this video series will look at how to export the JSON from SQL Server and import it into MongoDB. So a quick introduction to JSON. JSON means JavaScript Object Notation. It is a standard data interchange format and also easy to read and write. It is program language independent. Um, so uh, whatever program language you use you know it doesn't matter uh, it, most of the programming languages right now support json um, by default so so what is json you know json is actually a collection of uh, key value pairs uh, we can also call it as name value or label value pair and which this pair is termed as an object um, in, J in json and uh, this object actually is followed by a square bracket and the key or name or a label uh, which is a qualified string and then a colon and then the actual value. The value can be a, a, a string, a number or boolean or null. Uh, we'll look into this data types more in detail uh, in the coming slides. And. Uh, so and that actually defines uh, what an object is in JSON. JSON also su supports some something called an array. An array is an object an, an ordered collection of values. Uh, begins with a square bracket and and ends with a square bracket. So the values inside are separated using comma. The values can be the actual values like strings and numbers, or it can be objects itself. JSON also supports, uh, like I mentioned, other data types like strings, numbers, boolean, null values. But we need to spend more time uh, for strings in JSON because that's where you know you either uh, because that's where most of your data types converted to be um, because the the data types like numbers and uh, and boolean and null you know, are also significant but strings are the most ones what you which you normally see so string is any unicode character except a double quote or a a backslash or any other control characters data type conversion so um let's go uh, fire up the management studio so this is the msdn blog so the before we go into this actual data type conversion, um, actually, I just want to mention that SQL Server supports more robust data types than JSON, um, like dates, um, you know, money, and uh, varchar, nvarchar, you know, numeric bit data types, and binary, and other CLR data types like uh, hierarchy and geography, which is like a geospatial data type. And... Um, you know and other data types like unique identifier and money um, so these data types need to be converted to either strings or numeric or boolean or null values so so this mapping that uh, this uh, the Microsoft has released here kind of tells us how this conversion works so the var care and n var care are con or care are converted into strings um, that's self-explanatory and the numeric data types like in begin flow decimal numeric are converted into numbers and then the the bit types or bit data types are converted into boolean that is pretty easy and the 
json doesn't support date time or date so that is actually converted into strings in json and then the binary data types are converted into like var binary binary into base 64 encoded strings right now json doesn't support the clr data types like a hierarchy id or ge geography uh, the geospatial data types so what uh, the workaround for this right now is actually to use two string where most of our, most of the CLR data types support two string where the the actual data type in in, in CLR converted into a string um, and the other data types like Uniqlo identifier or money are counted into uh, strings so all right <clears throat> Let's look at this uh, data type conversion um, in detail. Um, so here I have a simple query here, select for JSON path. Um, this query most likely to be fail because in order for your, uh, in order for you to export a data, data from SQL to JSON, you need to have column names because these column names define the keys, you know, and um, And when coming to for JSON auto, uh, it's it's necessary that we need we need to use table names, uh, which we'll look into in detail in the coming slides or video. So if I just change, if I just add the column name here, um, it will work. So you're looking at a, at a so at a key value pair, a JSON document like you can see here. Um, open a flower bracket, the key which is the blank. And then the value which is just an empty space so this is just a single JSON object um, or a document so if you look at um, date uh, like I mentioned before the date is converted into a string so here uh, this is a JSON object uh, enclosed in a flower brackets and the date is the key here or name or label and the value here is the actual date the the get date value which is the, the current date and time get date functions so uh, the column name is date so the so the column name represents the key here and then the the actual value is the actual string which is actual date time which is converted into string so um, as i mentioned before uh, the double quotes are and the, um, is a um, the double quotes is a control character in JSON so it needs to be followed up with a backslash which is a control character so here uh, so you can see here the word text here the text word actually has a backslash in front of the double quotes um, just to kind of making sure that when when you process this JSON document uh, just so you know that uh, this is not the end of the document this is just a double code that is in the text so you will see this uh, uh, escape character in your JSON data and same thing applies for the other control characters um, like the tab, tab, tab delimitation which you can achieve in SQL using like a char 9 um, so here you can see that is being replaced by the control character uh, uh, which is a escape character by, followed by the control character so the um, slash and then the t and same thing applies for the other um, control characters um, like the tab delimited new line carriage written and uh, same thing applies uh, for the backslash so if you have the backslash in your text when this when the when the, in, in the json compatible document uh, you're looking at having like a, a another escape character to escape this backslash and then the the same and everything looks same for other things and then as i mentioned before var, var binary is converted into a base 64 encoded strings so that's what you can see here and then um, you can see the integer or the the numbers are converted into numeric in JSON. And for JSON auto, uh, this query might fail because for JSON auto, not only needs column names, also it needs the tables. 
So if you look at uh, this table in AdventureWorks database, uh, select start from person dot address for JSON auto. So if you run this query, uh, it failed here. It says for JSON is not supported with CLR data types. Cast the CLR types explicitly into one of the supported types in for JSON queries. So because strings are supported in JSON, so we'll what we do is uh, this geospatial location, which is a um, CLR data type. Uh, we add two string method, um, which is a, a method that is available in the CLR data type. We convert it into a string, and then when we run this statement. It works now because we converted the CLR unsupported data types to a supported data types, which is like a string. Um, so you can see here the string data type um, for for JSON. So that uh, ends this presentation. Um, hopefully, you have a good understanding of. Um, how SQL Server converts the data types from J uh, from SQL to JSON, and how to get started with JSON in SQL Server. Thank you.